Hi everyone, Susie here again, aka Mum to GNT. Um, I'm on a roll with these uh, video tutorials, so I thought I'd do another one. Um, so we've got our multiple masks here, and I thought I'd add a little frame to it. So um, I'm just going to change just, let's make that black, press the G. Just make that black for a moment. Um, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to swap that round, and I'm just going to draw. I'm I'm just going to do a very quick frame for you. So I'm going to make that white, and then deselect, and select that and F2 for delete and voila we have a little frame now I'm going to take that layer off and with this layer I'm going to put on a shadow so um, let's just make it a little bit darker I'm a bit anal with the shadowing I'm afraid um, actually, I might just put that down a little bit so we can kind of see that. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to make that drop shadow on a different layer. Oh, I'm getting croaky again. Listen to me. <coughs> um, so I'm going to right click on that and click on create layer. Yeah, okay. So that's our drop layer on one layer. So with this, I'm going to go to, um, sorry, forgotten, <laughs> warp. And I'm just going to warp the shadow a little bit. So, um, you know, just make it a little bit, actually, I'm going to shoot the other way. So there I'm just literally just pushing up these little buttons I'm sure you know how to do this there put that one down that can go in a little actually I'm gonna put something here so let's push that in a bit and something there so we'll push that one in a bit we won't worry about that for now put that out a little bit that one out a bit. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so there we are. Now I'm going to get the delete tool, which is E. Now I'm going to, I can't remember what I said now. I think I was going to have something here, wasn't I? So I might just change that a little bit again. Um, to push that in a bit like that and that one kind of out a bit see what that looks like that's a bit better so got the delete thing so um, let's just delete that a little bit more there and here just very slightly there we go okay done and there we have our frame so um, I'm just gonna lock those layers together and let's put it up here and gonna shrink it a little bit and there we go there we've got a frame so and what I'll do is just find a staple and put a staple there so um, just to be really quick let's um, get that color just just showing you oh, not that would be my staple kind of there so where it goes in a bit there so if I bring that down to there um, you kind of see what I mean. This isn't my staple, I'm just showing you. 
kind of there. And you can still warp that shadow, but you need to take the link off. So if you wanted to warp it a little bit more or move it, um, you know, you can, if you want to be a bit, um, you know, I don't know, anal like me. No, control Z. Thank goodness for control Z. I might take that out E. There we go. Anyway, you get the gist. I'm going to take those awful staples off. <laughs> so, um, there we go. How to make a frame um, with shadow on it. That's made in CS6, Photoshop CS6. So, I don't know if you can do that in Elements or anything. I'm, I'm, I've never even looked at Elements, so I'm not sure. So, there you go. How to make a frame with a shadow on it. Um, so, hopefully you can use that on your pages.